Today I'm going to be going over what does the full moon mean and how does it affect us? Welcome back, beautiful souls, to the channel. I am Shika, your conscious mentor. And on this channel, we talk about all things spirituality, wellness, entrepreneurship, and social media. I'm super excited to deep dive into what does the full moon mean and how does it energetically affect us? What do we know about need to know about the full moon? How does it spiritually affect us? all the things I'm going to be sharing with you guys in this quick little video here today. I know the full moon is coming up right now while I'm filming, so I thought it would be a perfect time to do this video so you know exactly how to utilize the full moon, what it's all about, and why do people keep talking about it. So this is great for beginners. This is also great for those just for a refresher. It's just awesome. So before we get into the video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, as well as put the notification bells. It really helps, and we really wanna help support conscious souls like yourself. So please make sure you do that. And today's subscriber of the day is Ashton Stevenson. Thank you so much for being part of the community. Our community is growing every single day, guys, and I'm so grateful for it. I am so excited for our manifestation of 1 million subscribers this 2020. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's get into the video. So the first thing is the full moon is a very mystical kind of energy. You notice a lot of things are different. People might act differently. People might seem a little off. And that's all because of the full moon. But what exactly does the full moon mean? And this is where we understand a little bit more the intention of the full moon. So the full moon really represents new ventures and releasing as well. So there's two things that you really need to bring into intention with the full moon. So the first thing is, what do I want to release during this full moon in regards to my intention of what I want to bring into my life? So with the full moon, because the energies are so high and we have such a huge connection with the universe source and all the other dimensions, the walls are thinner, we're able to connect deeper and more with the full moon. So the first thing is asking yourself, what is the intention that I want to bring in? What do I want to manifest? What do I want to attract in my life? And allowing yourself to bring that and meditate on it, you know, think about it, be specific with it. But with everything that we want to attract with our life and in our, into our life, we need to also release something. So ask yourself, what is that niggling feeling within your gut that you need to release? And you've been ignoring it for so long and you're like, okay, it's time to do it. Universe source is trying to tell you that is really what the full moon is really telling you at this time. So this is the first main thing that you should know about the full moon. Second interesting fact about the full moon is during the full moon energy, 90% of the subconscious mind thoughts, things, projects, whatever it may be is amplified and 10% you are full capacity thinking of the conscious thought. So basically what that means is the subconscious is everything that we think about that we don't actually think about. I know that sounds like a double on top right here but what I mean by is like all those worries and self-doubts and like the ideas and dreams that we have that we don't verbally say throughout our day is what's going to be amplified so for example if there's a toxic person in your space that's going to be amplified even more they might be more annoying during this time if there's some issues arising in your relationship you might notice it more in this time if you're not enjoying your job you might notice more that you're like wanting to find something different so this really teaches us you know what are these subconscious thoughts that we have within our energy with the full moon and what do we need to remove so the full moon really means like you know how can we amplify those subconscious how can we put in those affirmations implement them into our brain into our mind because if we have control as conscious beings of our thoughts we have full control of what we want to manifest and attract into our life which is what we want right the second part is subconscious or sorry conscious which is 10 percent and conscious is everything that we're saying right now right us talking speaking about the full moon what it means this is the conscious thought right but the other things about what you think about the full moon and your opinions and kind of your definition of the full moon that is there in the brain, but you're not verbally saying it, that is the subconscious. So really, this is a great time to tap in and to remove old beliefs, to add new beliefs, and to really just be aligned. This is also a great way to connect with other dimensions. So guides, angels, spirit guides, kind of that kind of space, making sure that we're able to connect with them and let them know and help them amplify our manifest stations and what we want to attract in our life. Number three is this could be a very transformational time. The full moon meaning and how it affects us here is that it 
will amplify energies. We might feel more creative. We might feel more exhausted. We might feel more emotional. And that is all dependent on one thing, astrology. You guys might notice if you look up the full moon, there's different ones, such as the strawberry full moon, which is in Sagittarius. We have the wolf moon. We have so many other moons that are out there for each month. And each month we get the amazing blessing of being able to release and to start new intentions for the next cycle. So here is a really great place where, depending on your sign, and I'd love to hear from you guys, what is your sign down below? Please comment. Let me know what your moon sign and your sun sign, your moon sign is basically, you know, the day that you were born and what month, depending on your sign and your sun sign is dependent on your birth chart. So there's a lot of websites that you can actually look that up, which is really interesting. So if you feel free, go check that out. You can search up like birth chart in Google, it will pop up. Um, but really where it comes down to is understanding that this is a transformational time. So if the full moon is in Gemini, for example, this might be a time where you're really feeling very tense emotions. And this is an opportunity, this is an opportunity for you to amplify what you want to manifest amplify what you want to release those deep traumas those deep emotional things that have been holding you back from everything that is rightfully yours this is your time that you can release that now if you are also at that time that is also a great time to create like rituals i love doing like ritual spells and stuff like that which are really fun so i do like the the blood um the the period blood <laughs> ritual which is really great i love putting intention and in scripting which you guys can do as well just really tell talking to the moon and talking the dimensions of what we want want to create and bring into our life. So if it is, you know, during the full moon, it is your sign, search it up because that's probably why you're feeling it more. And that's what makes the full moon so mystical and such a great opportunity for us to really take advantage of this amazing energy. Number four is it's an opportunity for us to cleanse and change. So during the time of the full moon, this is an opportunity for us to do energy healing. So if you want to do shadow work, you know, a Reiki session, I do Reiki, whoop, whoop. So if you want to do Reiki, all those other things, this is a great time to do it around the full moon energy because it's really gonna be so much more potent and powerful to do that deeper inner work and it's gonna be really clear as far as where you need to go as well. Um, it's a great time to just kind of change around your space and your environment a bit, right? And change the people in your life. So. Um, you know, if there's negative people in your space, it's a great time to remove that out of your out of your space and whatnot. Um, it's a great time to set intention. So setting intention of what do I want to manifest this full moon? What do I want to bring into my life? Depending on the astrology of the full moon and the time and the retrograde, there are times where we can put different intentions depending on how potent that intention of that full moon is. So understanding a little bit more of like, what can I set as an intention and script and write for this next new series or week? weeks coming up until the next full moon. The other thing too is you can really create and activate a crystal grid. So this is a great time to activate your crystals, put them outside, allow them to activate and put intention with your crystals and hold them and then put them out overnight. It's a great time to activate water. So you could actually go and put water outside, <laughs> activate it, and that's a really great time as well. And activation as far as crystal grids, you can create them in your house. So what crystal grids are is you put them in certain corners of your house. If you look up and Google crystal grids, there's so many ones. They're usually made with with rose quartz, um, clear quartz, tourmaline, black obsolete. Th these are the main like popular ones, but it allows us to protect our home. So protect our home from energies, from maybe people, from um, entities, whatever it may be. This is a great kind of idea. So if you're thinking of wanting to put that intention for going forward or you feel a little bit more protection or you need to be protected more, this is a great time to activate those crystals to really create that shield of light within your home and your space. The other thing too, it's a great time to do guided meditations, whether it's by yourself or alone. So I think that's so important. Um, I'm so excited. I'm actually going to be hosting a full moon meditation and I'm going to be continuing to do so in the YouTube channel here. So make sure you give this video thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, put notification bell so you can be notified when that is. But meditation and amplifying that energy as a collective is so powerful, guys. Like you can really manifest things together so much faster when you put all the energy and create this ego of positivity and love all together. It's just amazing. So, you know, it's a great time to meditate. It's a great time to, you know, charge crystals, charge things. It's just a great time to create. And also it's a great time to accept change. I think that's a, one of the biggest things, the full moon energy and what it actually means is allowing us to kind of reflect and say, okay, what has to change in my life? What habits do I need to change in my, 
you know, out and about in my space, in my career, in my relationship? What are some things that will create me, um, you know, make me a bigger, better person and also allow me to get connected to my higher self even deeper? So this is a really great time to really do that. The fifth and final one, and the reason why you guys are probably watching this too, is manifestation and law of attraction. So I talked a little bit about manifestation and law of attraction on my TikTok um, the other day, and I thought, oh, I should probably add this into this video. Um, but manifestation talks about how to manifest is to believe in something so much that it is already attracted into your life. Law of attraction is attracting something based on your energy and vibration. So here, when the if you really think about it, if 90% of our subconscious is activated during the time of the full moon and 10% of our conscious mind, this is a time for us to go internal a little bit. This is a time to kind of pause and think and be in the now and kind of reflect, right? And in doing that, we can decide what is best to manifest at that time. I don't want you guys really like focusing just so much on like years and years and years. And that's the beauty of the full moon. It really teaches us that through time, we always have the full capacity and the full control to change our reality every single minute minute and moment, right? And we see that with the energy of the full moon because we understand how powerful our subconscious thoughts are in our life and how they can either hold us back or push us forward beyond the capacity that we can even fathom, right? So really, this is a great time to kind of set intentions of what you wanna attract, what you wanna manifest and live in that vibration, live in the state of being in the now. It's important to keep that in as far as like not saying I need or coming out of desperation, but being like, I want, I am, I am completely all of this manifestation. I am completely everything that I'm attracting and bringing that in completely in your life. Last little tip for you is during the full moon, it's a lot about cleansing, clearing, and just intention, right? And that's really what the full moon energy really means and what it's, what it, how it affects us in our life. So this is a great time to avoid, you know, negative people that might be energy draining, alcohol, drugs, like, any toxic things in our life, um, just because, you know, like even bad news or big changes or whatnot, it's a time for reflection to build for the next part, right? The next step. So I really suggest you taking that into consideration because that will allow the full moon energy to flow faster and better throughout you. So that's my tips on what the full moon means. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I thought this would be a perfect perfect video during the time of the full moon, especially considering more and more people are becoming more conscious, more connected. And I know that you probably want to know like, what is this business with this full moon? So now that you know, you can confidently set intentions, you know, build conscious, just energy within that space. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, as well as put notification bells. I do videos every single day for you beautiful souls. And I will see you guys in the next video. Amplify, manifest, and attract with the full moon. Bye.